Hi Facebook, how are you? Dr. Emily, good morning, good Monday. I hope you guys are having an amazing start to your week. I wanna do a quick video before I jump out and do some barefoot teaching on the concept of pain, pain doing ambulation. Now, pain doing dynamic movement is telling you, the practitioner, or you, the consumer, the patient, the athlete, the client, that something is happening during dynamic movement and impact forces. Do you have foot pain every time your foot strikes the ground? Do you get a jolt in your knee every time your foot hits the ground? Do you feel something in your SI joint, your lower back? When we start to have pain during dynamic movement it is telling us our body our nervous system that our rate of stabilization against those impact forces is a little bit too slow when it comes to stabilization what controls the human body and the, the stabilization of every joint of the body us as a global unit has to do with the nervous system the coordination of the nervous system the way that you're perceiving the impact forces the way that you're anticipating the impact forces everything that i am describing from a joint control perspective a joint stability perspective has to do with your nervous system the neuromuscular system the somatosensory system so the way that we need to be addressing these clients these patients is not from a biomechanical perspective if you are still looking at posture and locomotion and foot pain and foot type strictly from a biomechanical perspective and that is so archaic. We have to get past strict kinematics and biomechanics. We need to look deeper within the nervous system. We need to look at the connective tissue web that surrounds every single aspect of the human body. This myofascial web is deeply sensory packed. It has way more sensory nerves than motor nerves when it comes to the human body and the way that we control dynamic movement. So, Having said that, if everything is all about sensory information and bringing in that stimulation, we want to be correcting these movement dysfunctions from a sensory perspective. That is really the premise of why I've developed Naboso technology. Naboso, which means barefoot in Czech, is a patent pending material that is based on research, based on the science of the skin, on the bottom of the feet, and the palm of the hand. It is based on what's called mechanoceptor science. So we are looking very specifically at these nerves in the skin, on the feet, in the hands, their distribution, what they're sensitive to, how they are stimulated, the distance between each of those nerves, and we are building it into our technology. If you have not seen the Noboso insoles, so, oh, so excited, our 1.5s are here. So we have, I've been waiting for these for months. We have had our 1.0s for several months. The 1.5s, finally hit the states i have thousands of them that are sitting in the warehouse and we are ready to ship them out so if we look at nabosa technology this is addressing foot pain joint pain posture locomotion rates of stabilization dynamic control of locomotion from a neuromuscular mechanoceptor somatosensory sensory perspective so it seems very subtle it seems like how does something with that texture what is so powerful about that texture and how is it going to control the human body it is doing it from a subtle subconscious very strong but deeper than you can consciously perceive way it is addressing it from the nervous system it is doing it from a reflex perspective the mechanoceptors in your feet are connected to what's called your brain stem which means they're not up here in the motor co cortex in the neocortex on the cognitive side of the way that your body controls and processes information it is deeper in a more primal primitive brain stem that is the way that we control local Locomotion, posture, dynamic locomotion is really just dynamic posture, and we are doing it from the skin in the bottom of the feet. So when you get your Naboso insoles, what can you expect? You're going to slide them into your shoes. You're going to be doing it without socks, so it's completely barefoot, and I just want you to have an open perspective. You are going to not think of a, oh my God, what is this? Because again, it's very subtle. 
So I encourage you to put it in your shoes. You're going to walk around. You're going to have your day and just start to notice subtly how you feel. How does your posture feel? How does your lower back feel? Do you happen to feel anything in your core? Do you feel like when you're walking and moving that you're striking the ground a little bit more coordinated? That you're striking the ground a little bit softer? That you're a little bit more present as each foot strikes the ground? Some of the best testimonials that we had for those who are already using the Naboso insoles is that they say, my feet don't get tired, or I always used to wake up and have foot pain, and now they're not having foot pain anymore. They're doing that from a proprioceptive neuromuscular somatic sensory perspective. If you stimulate the skin on the bottom of the feet because it's so connected to the fascia of the foot, and the fascia of the foot is so deeply integrated with the intrinsic, the small muscles in the bottom of the foot, you are getting higher contraction of the intrinsic muscles of the feet. These muscles, just like the deep muscles of your core and your spine, their purpose is stabilization. Their purpose is posture, locomotion, the anticipation of dynamic impact forces. So we really want to be challenging our body, challenging the way that we're looking at human body pain, pain during dynamic movement, and really, it, it can't be something that is gross. Gross meaning big, meaning like I need to like shake your body for you to feel something. There's a deeper resonance within the human body that you can't always understand. You can't tangentially understand the power of somatoscience. It is there, it is working, and the subtlety of the texture on the Naboso insole, again, is matching those very powerful mechanoceptors in the bottom of the feet. So I challenge you to look at movement a little bit differently. Look at pain differently. Look at dynamic movement and the rate of stabilization from a neuromuscular perspective. And I encourage you to try the Naboso product line. We have our mats, we have the Naboso 1.0 insoles, and we have the Naboso 1.5 insoles. All of these are super powerful in the way that we're changing the way that the world moves, stands, and perceives the their body from the ground up. To learn more about Naboso Technology, please check out nabosotechnology.com. It is linked within the description here. Or head on over to the Naboso Technology Facebook page. Have an amazing week, and I'm ready to go get barefoot strong. Take care.